Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Raven. I'm a Pilates teacher, bar instructor, and personal trainer. Today, I've got for you a Pilates resistance band workout. So all you need is your mat, you need your band and your body, and we will get started. So here we go. All right, you guys, so we've got our bands right above our knees. We've got like medium to heavy resistance bands, but remember, you do not have to use those if it does not suit your body today. But we're gonna start on all fours with some cat cows. So take your hands down underneath your shoulders. Band is just above your knees and knees under your hips. You're gonna round your spine. It's like a big back stretch, like you're yawning. Good, and pull your stomach up and then reverse. Give me a nice cow stretch. Open your chest, send your hips back. Do that a few more times. Really push down through your arms and breathe. Good. And look forward. Really try to open your sternum. Two more. And look far away. Push down through your palms. One more time here. Round under. Try to move your spine and look forward, big stretch. Now, still on all fours, give me a neutral spine. Try to pull your abdominals in and have a nice flat back. Without shifting, can you extend your right arm forward? Bicep to ear, boop. Okay, and now take the opposite leg back behind you. You'll feel the tension of your band. Good, try to use your glute to pull your leg up an inch or two higher and then put everything down on the mat together. Let's try the other side. So it's left arm, right leg. Test your balance, bird dog here, lift it. And then lower. Let's keep alternating there for a few. You should really feel your abdominals. Your legs are working, your arms are working, and you're definitely trying to breathe here. Good, let's do one more each side. Ooh. Oh yeah, see you back there one more time. Let's hold this last side out. I've got my left arm forward, my right leg back. Now round your back, bring your elbow to your knee. Scoop your tummy up and then just stretch it back out. Ooh, balance, give me a few more of those. Round in from your abs and then give me a long spine. Keep going, how can you move your back here? By using your stomach. Ooh, for four. Oh yeah, last two. You're gonna feel your arms turn on. My leg in the back is working, last one. Reach your arm and your leg out long, hold it. Can you lift your leg up an inch, down an inch without moving anything else? It's almost like a little arabesque. Give me three, two, one, and lower everything down. Whew. Okay, other side, my arm is on fire, here we go. <laughs> Reach. Hold your balance for a second, and then let's round, scoop your back, pull it in, and then extend. Whew, keep it going. Round and scoop, and reach. Good, nice little tempo. Let's go for four, three. Try to make your elbow actually touch your knee, get that connection. One more time, extend everything out and hold it. Now let's lift the back leg up an inch down. Imagine it's really coming from your glute. Someone's pulling your toe back behind you, lengthening your leg. For three and two, hold your leg up. This is your best one so far and lower everything down. Alrighty, let's flip onto our backs for bridging. Lay on down. Ooh, I'm already warm. All the way. Perfect. Feet are about hip distance apart and your spine is nice and heavy on the mat. Feet point straight ahead. When you're ready, lift your hips from your bottom. Push your arms down into the mat and then melt your spine back down. Ooh, good, two more right there. Lift and push. 
and then melt your body. It should feel kind of good on your back. One more time. Lift your hips up and hold them there. Now lower your hips two inches down. Use your bottom to push your hips back up. Go down a little halfway and lift. Keep going there. While you're going, can you push out a little further on your band? There she goes. So now we're really working into your hips and your glutes. Perfect. Three more. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like that toenail polish. Last one, now let's hold the hips up. Arms are pushing down. Now can you open your bands, push out like a butterfly with your thighs and then close a little. So it's a little open, little close. How can your abdominals help you do it? Sometimes I even like to put my hands on my belly and really think, wrap everything in. You're gonna feel your hips turn on. Let's go for four more of these. Four and three. Try to work your legs equally. Two. This is my favorite part. Hold your thighs apart in your butterfly position. Keep that connection as you lower your hips down two inches, up two inches. So we're combining everything together. Lower a little lift. You're gonna feel it turn on. Give me six of these. Every time you use your abdominals even more to control your pelvic stability. Two more. Keep pushing out on the band. Last one, hold the hips up high. Can you push your band apart even more for three, two, one. Melt your body down. Whew. And pull your knees into your chest. Give your lower back a little stretch. Oh, I'm starting to get warm. Okay, from here, legs to tabletop position. Your hands go behind your thighs. I want you to curl up head, neck, and shoulders so it kind of looks like a crunch. You're scooping your abdominals down. Now lower your arms two inches off the mat. We've got our Pilates 100. We start pumping our arms and we start to breathe right here. Really focusing on how can you pull your belly down even deeper into the mat and keep your legs in a nice still shape. If your neck starts to get tired, put your head down. Let's advance, extend your legs out straight. Keep pumping. Big arms, feel your triceps working. Two more here. One more time, inhale. Exhale, five, four, push the air out of your lungs for three, two, one, pull it in. Woo. Okay, take your band around the arches of your feet. So like right in the middle of your foot. Yes, there we go. Now legs come back to tabletop position. Hands go behind your head like you're supporting your uh, skull. When you're ready, curl up head, neck, and shoulders. <sighs> Try to pull your stomach down, scoop the abs. Now from here, extend your right leg out long into the tension. And then pull it back in, do the same side. <sighs> you might feel your obliques turn on just the right leg out. Pull in, good, keep it going. How can you keep your left leg still? And if you need to, put your head, neck, and shoulders down. Ooh, I'm feeling it working. Two more there, two. This is our Pilates single leg stretch. One more. Back to tabletop. Let's try the other side. Here we go, it's burning. Push away. Remember, if the tension doesn't work for you, get rid of the band. Push out, oh boy. Let's go for four. <sighs> two more here. Last uh, two. Hold this last one out. So left leg is long, right leg is tabletop. Rotate your body towards your right knee. We're in our Pilates crisscross. And switch legs, other side. Oh, it's burning. Keep going side to side. Whew. Think about your ribs moving here. Think about moving from your spine, not pulling from your hands or shoulders. Let's go for 10. Last eight. Four more counts. Oh my gosh. Last set here. Hold it in the center, curl up an inch or two higher, and pull your knees into your chest. Woo, 
Okay, pull your band right above your ankles and rock yourself on up because we've got our sideline legs now. Alrighty, so now we've got our bands right above our ankles. So pull them up just a few inches, lie on your side facing me. Really try to align your body. So top shoulder over bottom shoulder, top hip over bottom hip. When you're ready, push your top leg up into the tension and hold it. You're gonna feel these muscles turn on. And then lower your leg back down. Do that a few more times. Push up into the tension and lower. You wanna to try to keep your hips still and reach your leg bones long out of your hip joint. Two more. Two. Try to pull your abs in and up. Now hold this last one up. We go up an inch down. Try not to lose the tension. You'll definitely feel your leg warming up. Push and push and stretch. Try to break the band apart. Give me five more there. Five, four, Three, big pushes, two, one. Now hold that leg up, small circles, woo. 10, one direction. Try to break your band on the up part of the circle. Lift it and lift it. I'm really using my abdominals to keep the rest of my body stable. We've got five, four, almost there. Three, two, hold the leg up. Really stretch it long. Now reverse it, opposite direction, down, around, and up. Ooh, <laughs> something's gonna turn on. Keep stretching your leg out longer. Try to lift it higher into the tension of the band. Six more here. <sighs> Last of four, three, two, last one. Hold your leg up and go back to the beginning. Lower all the way down and up. All the way down, lift. Keep that going for four. Woo! For three. Kick it up there. Two. Try to break the band up. Last one. Hold the push up of your band. Hold it there for three, two, one. Oh, lower it down. Now just slip your top leg out of the band and squeeze your legs together down there. We're gonna have heels together, toes apart. So it's like a little ballet first position. Now from here, can you lift your top leg up to the ceiling and then push it right back down Woo. without moving your hips. Do it again slow. We go up one, two, three, down quick. Repeat, pull the leg up, one, two, three, down, quick. Keep going with that tempo. You're gonna feel the same muscles that we were just using with your band. Pull up, but now we're working external rotation of the hip. Two more here, two, 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 and up, one more. Pull that leg up. Now hold the leg up, boop. Let's lower it down slow, one, two, three, kick it up quick. We're just reversing the tempo, repeat down. Oh, my butt's on fire. <laughs> and kick it up quick, keep going down. Two, three, kick it up, up, down and away. Try not to move this top hip. Woo, two more, my leg's getting shaky. Two, two, two and up, one more. Down, down down and up. Now just quick kicks, here we go. Last five, kick it up, five, four. Use your abdominals to stabilize your body, three. Woo. Use those inner thighs, two. Last one, lower it down. You should be feeling right there, here we go. Rock yourself up, put the band back on and let's go to the other side. Woo. Okay, here we go. Spin it around town. Good. I like to line myself up with the back edge of the mat. I feel like it's a better alignment tool, but whatever floats your boat, just make sure your body's in a long line. Okay, here we go. Both feet and kneecaps are pointing straight ahead. We push the top leg up into the tension and lower down. So we're starting back from the beginning. Remember your abdominals wanna be a little bit lifted here. Push up and down. Really work your top leg. Try to break your band apart and pull your belly in. You might feel your first side or your bottom side working a little bit. That's normal here. We just warmed it up pretty good. Two more. Two. Now hold it up on one. 
We lower down an inch, up an inch, so we're maintaining the tension on the band now. Woo! It's not easy. <laughs> lower a little lift. Little squeeze up. Little squeeze up. Keep going. Push it and push it. I'm really feeling the back of my leg, the side of my leg warm up like crazy for five, four. Keep reaching it longer. Last two. We get to hold the leg up. Small circles here, 10 times. Try to break the band, but do not move your hips. Four more, four. Ooh, I feel it burning. <laughs> now hold the leg up in the tension, reverse it. Oh, imagine someone's pulling your leg out. Around. Ooh, boy. For some reason, this side is harder. Let's go for five, four, three, two, Hold the leg up in the tension, back to the beginning, all the way down, push up. Almost finished with these. Whoo, whoo. Really breathe here, try to break the band up. We only have a few more. Three, two, last one. Push up into your band and hold for three and two and one. Oh, lower it down. Okay, take that top leg out. Oh, my butt is on fire. How do you, you make it look easy. I can't even do it. Okay, here we go. Heels together, toes apart. Point your toes for me. Now slowly be lift the top leg, show your inner thigh forward and then lower it quick, boop. Do it again. Lift, pull it up from your inner thigh and quick. Repeat, up, two, three, down quick. You might even feel a stretch, up, two, three, and lower. Keep going, push your bottom leg down into the mat to help you. Lift, lift, lift. Keep your upper body active to support the stability. Oh, don't go too quick on the up. Three more here, three. Lengthen the leg through the toes and ankles. Two more. Slow on the lift, my leg is shaking. One more time here, shaking like bacon. Woo, now lift the leg all the way up for me. Hold it. Let's lower down slow, one. Two, really squeeze your butt, kick it up quick. Lift, go again, down. Two, three, lift it up quick. Keep it going, lower. Slow, slow, slow. And up, three more. Ooh, every time your leg gets longer. Who doesn't want that? And up, one more time here. Kick it up and down, just flow with it. And lift. And lower, you might feel a nice stretch in your hip. Woo, for three. Oh boy. And two. I lied, give me two more. Whew. Try to use your stomach, don't let the hips move. Last one, kick it up, lower all the way down. Woo, all right, grab your band. We're gonna rock ourselves up to seated. Alrighty, so rock yourself up to seated. Grab your band, it's gonna go around your wrists now. So we're gonna do half roll back. If this doesn't serve you, we're gonna get into a little upper body. You do not have to use your band. So knees are bent, feet are flat, arms are lifted up. You gotta have a little bit of tension. You're gonna feel your shoulders fire up right here. Grounding your feet into the mat. Can you round your pelvis, scoop your tummy back? Can you start to just roll back just a few inches like you're getting the tag of your pants on the mat? Hold it there, use your tummy, and then roll back up, reach your arms up. Try it a few more times, round your spine, push out on your band, and then lift back up. Keep going there, use your breath, and it's your own range of motion. You do not have to get very low here. It's how can you move with control. Two more, pull the ribs back, push out on the arms, and lift. Again, use your stomach, and up. Now let's hold this last one back. Round and hold it. Can you push out and in on the band? Of course it's coming from your arms, but can you use your belly to do it? Good. Five, four, whoo, almost there. Three, two. 
Now hold the push out on your band. Can we rotate to one side? From your spine, back to center, other side. Keep pushing out on the band. Let's go a little bit quicker, side to side. Try to keep your hips and your knees still. So it's really just the rotation of your trunk. First six, my arms are lighting up. Four more sets here. Last three, keep pushing out on the band. Last two, and two, one more set. Woo. Hold it in the center. Can you lower down just a few more centimeters? Keep your back round, bicep curls, bend and stretch. Here we go. Can you do it from your stomach? When the elbows bend, your belly pulls deeper into your spine for eight. Woo. Six more. Keep pushing the feet down, use your stomach. Last four. Last three, I feel my shoulders working. Two, last one, arms reach out and sit up tall. Okay, extend your legs about the width of the mat. Yeah, a little bit tighter. Perfect, okay, feet are flexed. You're imagining you're sitting up against an invisible wall. We've got our saw here. Can you rotate towards your right leg with your spine? Can you dive over your right leg without moving your hips? Whew. Can you articulate your spine back up inside the twist and then arrive in the center, other side? So you twist first on one, dive over on two. Lift back up on three. Back to the middle on four. Let's go again, tension on your bands, twist. And over, it's just your spine moving from your stomach, roll up and center, repeat, twist without moving the hips or feet, and roll up, Whew. back to center, now hold, can arms come up, we do the same thing, twist from your waist, dive over here, pull yourself up, it's gonna be a little harder, shoulders out of your ears, and center, go again, and dive, and lift, and center, one more set, be honest about the rotation. If your hips are moving with you, you're not isolating your spine. One more. Big rotation. Back to the center, lift tall and lower your arms down. All right, we're gonna come to standing. Okay, we're gonna finish standing. So band comes back right above your knees. Feet point straight ahead, we've got some squats. Arms out to a T. Can you sweep arms forward, sit hips back, and stand and lift? Do that a few more times, like you're sitting your hips back in a chair. Keep going, lower. Reach forward and lift. Try to push through all four corners of your feet and draw your abs in and up the whole time. Now let's add a releve. When you stand, lift your heels, little micro balance, and then heels down. Whew. Repeat, balance, and lower. Two more there, two. Balance is looking pretty good since we warmed ourselves up. One more. Hold your squat down, whew. Can you go down an inch, up an inch? For three, like you're sitting your hips backwards, two. Last one, now stand, open your arms and point your right toe out to the side and then back to your squat. Same thing, point it out. If you can advance, lift the leg just an inch or two into the tension without moving your hip to do it. So you're really gonna feel the side of your leg. Two more there, two. Now this time hold it, cross your leg behind you in a curtsy position. Both legs bend, and then back out to the side. Repeat, go down. So now we're really focusing on our left leg here since it's our right leg that's moving. Hold this last one down. Can you bring your right arm over in a big mermaid stretch? You should feel a big, huge stretch on the whole right side of your body, and then stand back up. Let's go again. Big reach, side bend, big stretch up. Ooh, two more there, two. And lift, last one. Big arc over, back to center, place the foot down, and we go back to some squats, here we go. Hips back, and up, and lower. Woo, two more. 
How can you keep tension on your band? Hold this one down. Now we stand, point the left toe out to the side, back to squat. Whew. Your heart rate's gonna pick up a little bit. How are you working your arms? Advancement, give your leg a little lift and lower. Use your abdominals. We're pushing through the right leg. Two more here, two. Hold this last one. Now cross the leg back, curtsy, and right back up. My arms are burning, <laughs> lower, and lift. So we're really focusing on our right side now. We hold this last one down. Your left arm arcs over, try to open the left side of your body, and then stand, reach, repeat. Big stretch over. This is a great exercise to do if you feel like you have tight sides, if you sit a lot, if you do a lot of movements throughout your day just to one side, it's important to really balance your body. Last two. Reach, keep pulling the abs in and up. Last one here. Hold it out, bring your feet back to your squat position. Let's finish with some squats. Lower and lift for three. Try to calm your breath down, two. Last one. Stand up, arms up to the ceiling. Dive over, touch your toes, let your head hang. Whew. And then bend your knees, roll yourself all the way up. Give yourself a big shoulder roll, big inhale. And you guys are finished. I hope you are just as out of breath as I am. Um, she makes it look easy. But let me know how you liked that workout. Give it a like, give me a subscribe, or leave a comment. And I will see you guys later on the mat. Bye.